to Crafters TV and welcome back to a really exciting craft along. Uh, the craft along is all about sewing. It's our sewing Saturday today um, and it's when our lovely Becky comes up to the studios and starts at the beginning of what is an amazing masterpiece for the rest of the month. Um, and what that means is that you could be crafted along today but part of that is only happening today. The rest you will have to tune in to Becky's uh, new uh, Facebook Live which is uh, every Wednesday at 5 p.m. So every coming Wednesday after the Craft Along uh, Crafters TV, uh, you will find Becky on her page, which is uh, Crafters or Becky um, Sworn at CC. So uh, that's on her page. You'll be able to find that. Uh, but the Craft Along is all about making some very cute little characters. Um, so you're going to absolutely love that. Uh, and then tonight at 6 p.m., we're going to be bringing you the amazing uh, Masterclass. Now, um, I'm really excited for that because obviously it's our Becky's take on her paper crafting skills um, and homing into all things nature's garden. Uh, we also have a very special guest as well that is zooming in um, which we will uh, go to her in a little while and uh, speak to her uh, but first of all I've mentioned her a couple of times let's go over to the lovely lady herself. Uh, Becky have you had something to eat are you feeling refreshed? I am I've had some chocolate and I feel much better now. <laughs> of course. And a cup of tea. <laughs> I want a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Cup yeah. Yeah, exactly. chocolate. That's, what, that's what you need. So yeah, raring to go. Hoping that you're going to enjoy this. I'm hoping this is going to appeal to paper crafters or people that haven't actually um, done any soft craft in the past. Um, I've been umming and ahhing over whether I'm going to stitch anything today and I think actually I'm not going to. Oh. And it's not an excuse, but I'm just going to say it's really hard to see where I'm stitching with the lights on and because of the way that we're, these little t um, gingerbread men are and um, there's quite a lot of sort of fiddly stitching so actually I'm going to be using glue but you can actually absolutely stitch these together with yourself if that's what you want to do oh perfect love that can we see what project you are making yeah so this is the project a little gingerbread wreath they are not fried eggs they are <laughs> they're supposed to be um, uh, sort of Christmas roses, Christmas which, roses. Aren't, which aren't roses in themselves any ball. anyway, they're hella balls. Did I you know would that? never, yes they are, but mm. I would never have said they look like fried eggs. Well, I can sort of see it now, um, possibly, yeah, I can, I can see they look like fried eggs, but they're not. Um, but actually, you know, you can use any kind of um, foliage you might want to use. I thought, I'll use these, but these are the um, multimedia blooms, um, beautiful blooms and fla fabulous florals, fabulous flowers um, dyes that we've got. Yeah, quite difficult to say. Um, so I'm using a mixture of those, but any kind of dyes that you may have to make some flowers, I think would really work. And maybe you might want to make them out of some hessian. Um, if you've got some e extra hessian left over but the, the sort of stars of the show are the little gingerbread people the gingerbread men and I just thought it made quite a nice sort of alternative Christmas kind of wreath yeah absolutely I really love that so if you want to follow Becky along uh, there's just a few little things that you need to do this beautiful wreath with so first of all you're going to need that gingerbread man multicraft festive treat die uh, which we have on the show today we're also going to be using some multicraft flower dyes the beautiful blooms and the fabulous flowers some threaders felt bundle which is our festive bundle uh, some white felt some hessian you'll need some wire wreath and some florist wire as well uh, a few additional items uh, that will be your sewing machine um, although although becky said no sewing today you can use your sewing machine uh, it's entirely up to you you will need an iron some threaders a2 folding cutting mat or a cutting mat that you've got in your uh, craft stash uh, your threaders 6 by 24 inch folding ruler, a rotary cutter, threaders, erasable fabric pens and then some extra bits that are in your craft stash you're going to need which is your Gemini 2 Becky will be using um, which is your die cutting machine, your gingham ribbon, ribbon uh, so any gingham ribbon that you've got in your stash that's 16 millimetres in width uh, and then some other red ribbons which are 3 millimetres and 10 millimetres in width, some black beads, some threads, some collar all-purpose glue some low tack tape and a glue gun uh, and Becky you were saying that you're going to be using glue is that a specific glue that you'll be using well so it depends what you've got you want to do if you want to use a little bit of glue just to hold the gingerbread men together and then you want to stitch those together afterwards I would use some of our textile glue or some of our felt glue it takes a little bit of time for it to go off but that won't gum up your machine now because I'm not going to stitch anything at all I'm going to use our Kalal all-purpose glue which if you're paper crafter you would know it really well 
do not stitch through it afterwards it will break the needle of your sewing machine because it's, it dry, dries so so hard but it dries really quickly um, which means it's sort of better for me to be able to show you what I'm doing um, if you're going to be made, crafting at home and you don't have that use some textile glue um, you, and you just need to leave everything to go off um, to get you know to solidify um, but don't, if you're going to be stitching through you just want to use the glue just to secure it all in place use textile glue or felt glue don't use cloud gel amazing thank you for that uh, right now one more thing we need to get going is uh, seeing who our special guest is today um, Lisa Lisa Turner hello Lisa how are you hello I'm good thank you oh, how are you oh very well thank you Lisa have you done a craft along with us before Yes, I've done a couple with you before. Oh, but amazing. not a sewing one. I, and that's what my next question was, whether it was sewing or paper crafting. Oh, that's amazing. So you've done some paper crafting ones. So are you predominantly a paper crafter? I'd say probably 50-50 now. Okay. I enjoy oh, sewing okay. and paper crafting. Oh, that's amazing. Becky would be pleased to hear that. Yeah, it's always good to hear yeah. that there's a fellow sewist. Here. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but you're going to do your take on this um, craft along, aren't you? That's right, yes. Oh, yeah, I've got amazing. penguins rather than the gingerbread man. Oh, that's so nice. We're going to be able to see a little bit of that. Yeah. Uh, and whereabouts are you from, uh, Lisa? Dear, I'm in Norfolk. Oh, you're right near me because I'm in Thetford. Oh, are you? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's far then, just down the road. <laughs> you're literally down the road. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm in Norfolk as well. I uh, Well, I was um, London originally, then to Norfolk, then to Bedford, then back to Norfolk. Um, so there oh. you go. <laughs> right, well, Lovely. we'll keep checking in with you um, in the next couple of hours, all the way through, uh, Lisa. But if you do yep. need uh, any help or you want our, our attention, uh, just give George a nod and he'll make sure that we'll mm -hmm. uh, stop and Becky can answer any questions or we can recap on anything. Uh, and also, so you've got some pictures as well that we're going to be showing throughout the hour as well which will be great so yes. uh, uh, have you got everything ready I have yes amazing we will speak to you soon thank you Lisa so thank nice you. to have Lisa in with us today and crafting along with Becky so nice for Becky to have someone crafting along with her as well um, now if you do want to get hold of the items that, uh, that our Becky is using today um, they are amazing now these little cute characters uh, we just heard our Lisa say that she's using the uh, penguin uh, we've got that gingerbread man we've got the Christmas tree and we've got the snowman uh, so if you go for this collection today Today, you're also uh, getting your is this the material the um, sheets the um, vinyl sheet the final fabric comes with that which is uh, so it makes it a five piece collection you're actually getting 37 dies in total with that final fabric and you're getting an amazing 10 pound percent saving today plus an extra five percent saving taking your platinum price down to 31 pounds 42 or 40 dollars 86 now we are running a double discount event uh, you'll get Getting double points you're getting double discounts you're also getting your own um, membership uh, points and discount on the website as well uh, but do shop across on the website because there's plenty of things going there including up to 70% off on our sale so there's plenty to go for uh, right now I am um, I am ready because I'm just watching uh, our Lisa is definitely ready because I've just checked Becky are you ready for us I am ready I am ready yeah. let's get started excellent right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be using the dies so these are our festive treat dies these are little ones with a little hole in the tummy um, so you can pop a chocolate um, in there really really handy um, little item to have but we're not going to we're not going to put a treat in them because I thought I'm going to use it as the wreath and um, so I'm just I'm not going to worry about his little tummy were you worried about what was in my little tummy your little friend what? Oh, okay what? well I don't know what did I give to you? Did I give you? Oh, I did give you a gingerbread man. I've, I've totally forgotten. Right. So what we, I know it doesn't. It doesn't take much. And for just me in to case anyone's in. not aware of what's going yeah. on, Becky, you're yeah. talking to those voices in your head. I am. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one here. Who are you? Do, shall I do that again? Shall I do that? Yep. Yeah. No, I'm just making it up. Right, so just the, <laughs> just the voices in my ear. I did give Nicola a gingerbread man, not an edible one, but a felt gingerbread man earlier on, but I totally forgot because it was about 20 minutes ago and, you know, things just go in and out of my head. Right, now let's talk through what you're going to be getting in this pack. You've got the outer part of the gingerbread man. You've got the actual gingerbread man um, body. You've got this little heart shape for cutting out that little... Um, 
aperture in his tummy. You've got two little spots for his cheeks. You've got these pieces which are little bits of rickrack or icing um, for his sort of um, embellishments. And then you've got this larger piece here. So this is used for cutting out the vinyl if you're going to be making him look like he does here. Um, have like a little piece of vinyl to go around his tummy. Um, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to be using um, the outer body the um, inner body, and then the decorations and little um, cheeks um, today. So what we're going to do is we've got some of the felt. So this is our fe festive felt bundle, which has got all of the different colours that you're going to need um, for um, all these kind of festive dyes. Um, inside the little pack, you're going to get a little um, instruction booklet about how to put your little um, uh, gingerbread man or snowman or penguin or whoever it may be um, together. And it shows you um, if you want to make him into um, a festive treat dye with that little cut in the back, you can do that and we'll just pop a little chocolate inside right what we want to do is we want to cut some outer bodies of the gingerbread man out of the darker um, kind of felt which is this one and then we want to cut some of the um, actual bodies inside the lighter felt I want to cut these out of pink and these out of cream and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prepare all of these pieces I want to cut two pieces of felt at a time um, and I always, with felt, I don't use the fabric plates. I like to use the plates that come with the, the machine. Now, with these tiny pieces here, I find the easiest way of dealing with these is to put them on your mat and then get a piece of um, tape and then pick them up on the tape. It just seems to be easier rather than fiddling around trying to get everything um, worked up in the right place. We're going to do that there for those now we need to cut three sets of everything here and um, so we're going to go ahead and do those now I'm just going to load up my Gemini plates with um, all of the pieces of felt here so I'm using that cream felt so this cream felt is part of that bundle It's quite rigid felt and um, this is the best kind of felt to, to be using with these sorts of things um, if you do need to go and get other kinds of felt try and get something that's a little bit rigid um, rather than sort of soft felt um, in the later on when we make the flowers I've got white felt which I bought from home it's much softer it's much more um, kind of works with flowers um, if you bought some of our those dyes those flower dyes before and we had some felt with those they're much softer um, much more sort of fluid kind of felt so again a little bit of um, tape on here I'm going to pick up those ones and those at the same time and then pop them onto my felt there so let's get these together so I'm using my plates from my machine so I've got my white plate I've got my metallic shim then I've got um, my dies and my felt um, with the dies facing down I'm just going to load those up like that and I'm going to do the same with the bodies so I'm going to cut these all in half and then into quarters I'm going to cut two at a time I find that's what cuts best. You may be able to cut a little bit more. Um, you see what works for you. So I want my larger gingerbread man there. Tape him down. Am I going to have enough space to fit you all in? I don't know if I am. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just move you around. Squeeze them in. Squeeze them in, exactly. It's like when you're baking gingerbread men, you're trying to fit as many as you possibly can in at a time but you don't you? want them to touch no <laughs> definitely not do you like gingerbread i love it do you i love i love gingerbread cake i love gingerbread loaf i love gingerbread men mm -hmm. <laughs> i love it all <laughs> i think as a kid they were always a little bit too spicy um but i really like gingerbread men now or well, gingerbread oh, I people them. i think we're, we're supposed to call them that's what they're the term does aren't they not gingerbread men because they're not always men Right, here we go. So we're going to put these through our Gemini. Um, so we want to use that frosted shim over the top of here and then the white plate over the top of that and then pop that through the machine. Okay. And we're going to do the same again um, because we want a set of, we want three gingerbread men. Um, and then after we've done that, put them all to one side and then we're going to cut the flowers as well. So certainly cut some of the flowers um, for the show today. 
So th as um, Debbie said, this trough along will not be finished um, in its entirety by the end of the show. Um, what we will do is we'll continue doing the craft along um, on Facebook Lives every Wednesday. Um, and we'll do the same every single week, Wednesdays at five o'clock. Um, sometimes the shows might be, the Facebook Lives may be um, longer than others, or they may be quite quick, depending on how much we've got, we've got to do. Um, but I do know that quite a few people were asking to do um, sort of getting to know your sewing machine kind of um, lessons. We can do things like that. Um, all those things we can, we can get done um, over the, the um, forthcoming weeks. So with these ones here, I'm just going to pull those away and I'm going to pop that down here just to save a bit of time and then pop out these little sections uh, ooh, or throw them at myself <laughs> um, <laughs> like this. So we're just doing that, and those are the, all those little pieces of kind of rick racky um, kind of stuff. And again, with some of the pink for his little cheeks. And you can, of course, cut out um, if you want to cut them out of black um, to do his eyes. You can do that. But I'm going to use some beads um, for his eyes. And I happen to have some little seed beads. But you could, you know, if you wanted to, you know, you could just use a, a pen if that's what you want to do. There's no harm in that. So those ones there. And then we want to do the same with the gingerbread men again. Make sure we've got the right colour. That's that one. Like that. And then this larger one has the larger gingerbread. So the outside of the gingerbread man. Like I mean, that colour felt is the perfect colour. Yeah, for men, I'm really it? pleased when they... Um, when they sort of launched these, I was thinking, well, we'll have a look at all the felt I've got. So we've had loads of different types of felt. We've had sort of more florals, more brights. And I thought, oh, no, what am I going to do to try and find all these sort of um, browns and fawns and the colours are going to work really well? And then when I saw that they were launching them, I was like, oh, that, that makes life a lot easier. All right, get those through. Offer it through to the machine. I think um, on Facebook the other day, somebody was saying, what is the kind of thing that you've learnt from the craft experts? You know, what, what idea have you learnt from craft experts that you sort of take along with you? And for me, it was you oh, telling oh. me to put my backing onto the back of my oh, um, yeah. packaging. My little I, hints and tips. Yes. I have plenty of hints and tips. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's one of those game-changing moments. It really it? is. <laughs> Because, because I do, no, obviously a lot of the stuff I've got is um, fabric based. I end up getting my fabric caught on the um, pieces of my, um, no, but the, on, the, on the sticky bits of my dies. Yeah. Um, and it made such a huge difference when you said, do that. And I was like, ah, oh, why did I not think about that before? Well, it that took me a long time. time and then, and it was purely by chance because it got caught on the back and it come off so easy and I thought, that's what you have to do. Yeah. You just stick it to the back. It's almost <laughs> like we planned it. Yeah, I know. I did. I mean, I just I thought, right, what tip can I come up with this week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? I think um, everyone has their own uh, tips and techniques, as I'm sure you do with your sewing. Um, but they really help people out. You think they're just a simple thing, but actually uh, makes a big difference. It does. It really does. Right, Do you have any big tips that you um, like sort of swear by when you're sewing? Um, I always make too much of something. So if I'm doing patchwork and I need you know, 15 triangles, I'll always cut 17 because I always lose something. Oh, and okay. there's nothing That's more frustrating than thinking, oh, yeah, I've got the whole lot and then realise that you don't. Right. Um, so that is my, that, that's always my sort of top tip. I'm just going to run that through with those other bits there. And I suppose, you know, like everything, we think, oh, you know, you should try, you should measure, measure twice, cut once. Not that we ever do. I mean, the amount of times I've cut things incorrectly. Like when I was playing about doing some paper craft and I was trying to cut, um, I was trying to cut a card blank. 
I, it was almost like it was impossible. I couldn't work <laughs> out what I was doing wrong. It didn't, everything was the wrong size. Uh, it was one of those things, I just, I just left it. I went downstairs and had a cup of tea and then came back to it and I was like, I don't know what on earth. It was almost like you're having a, you know, your brain was having a bit of a you know, funny day. Yeah. It doesn't really understand what it's doing and that's what I reckon's happened. Right, so we've got all our pieces together here now. So we've got our gingerbread men outside bodies we've got their inside bodies and i've got four here like i say i like to make too many of uh, something in case one um is it doesn't quite work out then i've got plenty of other um, bits and pieces over there and then here i've got his little cheeks and then i've got all of those little bits of rip rack or the icing depending on what way you want to call it for decorating his body now i'm going to get started and put these together um, as i said before i would if i was doing these at home with now and it is absolutely key with good lighting you need good lighting to be able to do these um, you can absolutely stitch with your sewing machine all the way around here um, i would say that if i was doing them at home i would have a light right behind my sewing machine on there so you can see because you want to get a nice point you want you, you want your stitching to sort of start and finish at these points and then sew beautifully around you want to make sure you're keeping that sort of nice seam allowance all the way around the edge but because i've i've, actually, I've tried it earlier on i found it really difficult to do it under the underneath the light so i'm going to glue it um today so i've got different glues i've got my textile glue which is great for felt. We've also got felt glue that you can use, um, but I'm going to use the Kalal all-purpose glue um, because it goes off really, really quickly. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of this and I'm going to stick all of these down. I'm just going to put the glue around the edge. Now, as I said, if you're going to, you want to sort of stick everything down and then you plan on stitching it, do not use this glue because it dries so hard you will never get your needle through. Yeah, we always um, say it dries like concrete. It does, absolutely it does. If you're using some of the textile glue, it's been made to work with your needles, your sewing machine needles and your hand needles, and so it won't gum up your needle and you'll be able to stitch through fine. So let's just make sure we've got that nice and even. There we go. Let's finish that off there. So we've got that little base. So you can see we've got a slightly darker um, edge for that little, um, little gingerbread man, and it works really, really well, and the glue is going to go off quite quickly. Um, we want to place his little, little rosy cheeks like this, and we also want for him to have um, some little eyes and a little mouth. Now, the mouth you can do with using a pen or you could use um, some embroidery thread. It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Um, I am going to use a pen um, and I would use a pen anyway just to mark it out. So if you use your heat erasable pen, so if I've only got a blue heat erasable pen, but I can show you how I, what I mean. Um, I can put that there, his little, little smiley face like that and then I can embroider um, that with some of my embroidery thread and um, if I was happy and I didn't want that um, I didn't want to be able to see that little um, little smile because I'd embroidered it in a slightly different way I can use a hairdryer or I can use a heat tool like that um, I'm just going to do that on here so I'm just using a heat tool here on that heat erasable pen and you can see that's just disappearing See, it's all so gone. clever then. It is really, really clever. Really useful to have. I don't know how I managed to sew before I had that, to be honest. Right. Let's put so you up. don't stuff these then? You just use them as a flat? No, but you could do. And yeah. if you were going to stuff them, you would definitely need to stitch them. Yeah. Um, I would say, you, just because it, it sort of pulls a little bit. But yeah, you could. You could put a little bit of stuffing in there and put them all together. You could just cut the larger sh shapes and cut those twice rather than doing, having the smaller ones and then stuff them. And that, that is definitely something you can do. Um, and we're also going to use some little beads um, for his eyes. So I've got some beads here. Put them down here on some... Oh, that was too many. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> Always good to have a few options. Right. So I, when I'm working out what, where I want to put his um, face, I just use my heat erasable pen. I'm going to do his little eyes over here. Um, I'm going to do a smiley face like this. And then I'm going to do his little cheeks over there, just so I know where everything's going to be. And I'm going to use some of my glue. 
and I find a little bit of glue on a piece of card just to one side is how I want to do it and I'm going to use my pokey tool and I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue in the right place with my pokey tool like that and then I'm going to lift up my little beads pop them in place like this there we go. Oh, you're looking cute. Very cute. Even if I do say so myself. What would be the name for a gingerbread man? Oh, Gingy. Gingy. <laughs> isn't he Gingy off, um, uh, yeah, Shrek, Gingy. Is that what he's it? called? Yeah, I think he's called Gingy. Well, one of my yeah. favourite you things is when man? he gets frightened. <laughs> you are. One of my favourite things is when the gingerbread man gets frightened in Shrek. Do you remember that little bit? When he gets a little squared. Oh, is he saying, no, oh, no, I was thinking of something else then. <laughs> he gets a little bit scared. I think that's quite funny. Right, now we're going to um, use a little bit of ribbon. So this is your, this is um, a three millimetre ribbon. I want to make a little bow um, to go around his neck. So I'm just going to make that. So you could use your ribbon uh, maker if you've got one. Um, I'm just going to do one from the end of the, the roll of ribbon. Just make sure I've got it to the right size. And that's going to be almost a sort of bow tie um, that you can use. You're very good, tying a little bow like that. Am I? I always find that I don't do very good bows. I'm always in awe of everyone else because they always do such better, so much better bows than I do. Well, either we either use the Ultimate Pro or I've got a little bow maker. So I just uh, do it on there. I couldn't make ribbons otherwise. I couldn't do them by hand like that. And then pop that little bow just here and then we're going to do a couple of little bits of glue down his tummy and put some beads on there so that's going to be how we we'll make um, those gingerbread men and we need three of these all together um, if you're going to make a larger wreath obviously you want to use a few more um, on there um, but I thought three works out quite well um, and then you could then I think I would do this on my front door and then I'd make one for the kitchen that had real gingerbread men on it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these would be great as little Christmas tree hangers as well, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got those little buttons down there. Now we want to use some of the glue for that rick rack, that icing that's all around him. So again, I'm going to take these. So we've got two sizes. You've got large ones and you've got the medium ones. The large ones are for the legs. They're just going to set the settle dust down here. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue on the back of here. Again, I'm using that um, Kalal all-purpose glue because it just it you no know, dries really quickly. And as I say, I'm not going to be. I mean, even if you were stitching things, you're not going to be stitching these bits on you are going to be gluing these definitely because they're so they're so wee and fiddly. And there. It's nice to have a die that does that little rick rack, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's great. It's lovely. I think these are gorgeous. Really, really like this idea um, of these little dies. Right, I'm just finding these smaller pieces. I've had to cover everything up because I've got the fan on and I'm a bit worried <laughs> that everything's just going to blow away. A bit of glue here but yeah and uh, this these guys dies are brilliant because you can use them for um, card as well they're not just for they're not just for fabric they're not just for felt you can use them for um, all sorts of different things but I think you know having something that you can use in lots of different ways is always a big bonus for me and just because I ended up cutting two layers of um, felt at one time so I'm just separating those little bits and pieces that I've cut and as I say, I always cut too many, so I should have enough to make four of the gingerbread men, which I think is a good thing, just in case I drop anything or I have to start again. Yeah. I don't have to cut everything all again from the beginning. There we go. Oh, so you can see, that's looks. your first gingerbread man. So the next thing we're going to do, so we're going to do, we need to make three of these all together. Um, so I'm going to leave this one for the moment for it to go off. Um, and I'm going to come back to these if I've got enough time um, a little bit later. But what we're going to do now is we're going to look at doing um, some of the flowers. 
Oh, amazing. Right, well, we will let you catch up on your uh, gingerbread making or whatever little character uh, that you have made. We know that Lisa is uh, busy doing her uh, penguins, so we'll check in her on a little while. But first of all, let's just look at some pictures that Lisa has done. Uh, these are beautiful. Lisa's done an amazing job. Look at this bag, Becky. That's gorgeous. How beautiful is that bag? It's just so gorgeous love the different materials the colors uh, it looks very texturized as well it might not be but it looks like it is but it's just beautiful absolutely love that one lisa uh, oh we've been home uh, home making our um, skirts by the looks of it that's beautiful now, I think I'm right in saying Lisa hasn't been sewing for very long. It's been about a year. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if we were able to go back to her, but it might be quite interesting to hear how she got started because it's not been long that she's been sewing. So I think quite inspiring for people who haven't sewn before mm -hmm. and think, oh, I'm never going to be able to do it. Actually, you know, you can absolutely do it. Yeah, because that's amazing. To be able to make your own uh, clothes is incredible. That skirt is beautiful. Now, the next one, Lisa, is stunning. Uh, making your own cushions, your home decor. Look at this. It's beautiful. Uh, lovely fabric, to, uh, fab fabric as well, that one. That is gorgeous. I like that. Yeah, very, very sort of Kath Kidston, isn't it? It is very Kath Kidston. Yes, beautiful. Love that one. Uh, and then the next one we've got is this a pinny like an apron? Um, looks beautiful. Love again the colours in this one. At uh, least it's been very busy. Absolutely, uh, that's beautiful. Uh, it might even be a dress actually. Looking at it, it looks oh, yeah, like the it top be. part yeah. and a skirt, or maybe just a skirt. Um, well, Lisa's been very busy because the next one is a beautiful wow. dress. I mean, how gorgeous are the sleeves on that? I absolutely love that. Beautiful colour um, and really lovely. I can't actually wait to talk to Lisa if you're saying she's only been sewing for a year because that is incredible. Um, and then Lisa's also sent in this beautiful bag. I mean, Oh, that's gorgeous. That is amazing, isn't it? Wow. Um, I think Lisa's, if she's saying 50-50 on um, paper crafting and sewing, uh, Lisa, you've been uh, rather a busy bee. Uh, is it I true have... that you've only been cr sewing for about a year? Yeah, about a year, 18 months. Oh, so my impressive. I got, a, I got my first sewing machine for Christmas a couple of years ago, and then it just sat in the box for months and months and months. <laughs> yeah. And then last year... I decided um, to start getting it out of the box and using it. And the first class I went to was to make the red dress. No, that was your first, first one. one. Yeah. Wow. And I decided to go to this class, <laughs> and I turned up. And I was like, I've never really sewn very much before, but we did. The pattern was really simple to follow, um, and the teacher did help me a lot that day. But I did get it all done in the one day. Yeah. Um, I didn't get it finished at the class, but I came straight home and I finished it straight away, so I didn't forget how to yes. mm -hmm. do the bits that I hadn't quite finished. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I made. So that and then you addicted. Um, a couple of weeks after that, there was a local sewing shop opened in my town. Yeah. And she started doing classes, and I went there, and that's the little um, sort of. The grey one is, is an apron. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, yes. Um, that you wasn't sure whether that was a dress or yeah. a skirt. That, that's an apron. So I did a, I've done a tote bag, cushions. Mm -hmm. um, I've made a top. And then my skirt, the, the swirly skirt. Yes. Yeah. I made that and I wore that to watch the Barbie movie. Oh, I, um, I actually thought your swirly skirt was your curtains, at Lisa. <laughs> I was looking, when no, I looked at the big skirt. screen earlier, I was like, wow, I love your funky curtains. And it's actually <laughs> your skirt, which is amazing. Um, so yeah. you wore it to the Barbie movie. Did you enjoy the Barbie yes. movie? Yes, it was good, thank you. Oh, OK, so I'm hearing different reviews. Some are loving, some are hating. Um, yeah. Nicola thinks it's the best film she's I've ever not seen. Been. My daughter said it was a load of pants. Yeah, she said it was just... She said to Mum, don't waste your life. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's a very yeah. mixed review. I it took a while to get going. Everybody over the age of 30 is not liking it. Anyone oh. under that age is quite liking it. Oh, OK. Mm. I think it's oh. got a bit of a... Um, that sort of sway, yeah. Um, it's got some um, quite dark scenes, apparently. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. yeah, it yeah, makes you feel things. So I think older people are like, oh, and younger people are like, oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you see, I think it would be the other way around because what I think I really remember playing with Barbies. I don't know where the girls play yeah, with Barbies Yeah, but it's not now. really about Barbie. Oh, is it not? No, no, no. No, oh. it's, it's basically, I don't want to give too much away, but it's basically about Barbie and Barbie world and everything's perfect. But she starts... She starts feeling really down, and it's her person that plays with her oh. has got depression. Oh. Yeah, so that's what, so she goes to find the person. To cheer her and up. And then it turns into Ken's world, apparently. Oh. Yeah, so it's all very, very, very uh. weird, very weird. Oh, uh, no, I, I still want to go and see it. I might, I might have to go on my own. <laughs> Perhaps we'll do it one time when we're up here. Yeah, yeah, we can really. go see it. We and, could have gone. But how are you getting along with the craft along anyway, Lisa? Yeah. So I've got a... Oh, brilliant. Oh, it looks so amazing. I just need to draw some eyes on them. Yeah. Because they look a bit weird at the minute. Oh, <laughs> oh so you I thought I might do like... So I haven't got any beads. So I'm going to do some black dots and then put my glossy highlights over them. Oh, perfect. Yes, yeah, great like idea. Yep. Yeah, really good perfect. idea. So brilliant. you're keeping up. It looks like you've got a couple there going along then, Lisa. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. I am, yes, thank you. Amazing, that's brilliant. Excellent. Well, we will check back in with you later on. Uh, right, if you do want to be doing this craft along, but you haven't quite got the pieces that you need to do it, don't worry, because we've got them for you. So you can see just on here, all that section, we've got the beautiful ones. We've got our uh, gingerbread man. We've got our gorgeous Christmas tree. We've got the beautiful penguin and that really happy snowman as well. You're also getting some vinyl fabric in there, 37 dies in total. If you are in the platinum, club uh, you will be getting 31 pounds getting it for 31 pounds 42 which is incredible uh, or 40 dollars 86 uh, now we're going to let uh, becky regroup let lisa have just a little few minutes break uh, we're going to have a break and uh, we will see you right back in a minute welcome to club inspire the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in, should be coming <laughs> What does she do? Exactly what does she do? <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at the rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. 
Crofters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part. And uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, welcome back to Sewing Saturday. Uh, it's the show where we are uh, in full uh, swing with the craft along, which is amazing. Um, we're doing this uh, beautiful wreath, um, and you've just seen Becky, well, hopefully, unless you've just joined us, make that gorgeous gingerbread man. Uh, sorry, I've not had any shout-outs to anyone this morning. We've getting, been ca getting carried away. Uh, Mary Pat is in saying hello. Sylve is in saying, um, I love that it includes the tiny, teeny um, Rick Rack Dies. That's what we were just saying. Um, uh, Silver saying happy sewing Saturday. Sarah Brown is saying hi, Lisa. Sending hugs from uh, Melbourne, Australia. Um, Tara is in saying I don't have a Gemini machine. Do I need one? Well, there's only one question to that, Tara, and that's yes, you do. Um, but that's obviously if you are um, sewing and want to uh, make what Becca's doing, or also paper crafting, and a Gemini machine will cut all your uh, dies out for you. Um, plenty of tuition on uh, online. Uh, Shadi is in saying good morning to Debbie and Becky. Just arrived home from a long night shift. I treated myself to the festive dyes. Uh, that's amazing, Shadia. Lynn is in saying hello, Debbie and Becky. Amazing CTV crew and the wonderful social superstar Susie. Yes, Susie's on today. Um, Vanessa is saying good morning uh, from Florida. Um, Sylvie is saying, what if he wants to be a she? That's very true, but you can choose, can't you? We don't have to have any um, he or she. Um, Shadi is saying he's a very chubby chin gingerbread. You need a you need a chubby gingerbread yeah, person, yeah, don't you? you? You need something to bite into. It's like um, you know, babies. You want them with really fat knees. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, absolutely. You don't want and skinny cheeks. Legs. Yeah. Cheeks well, that you can well, just well. pinch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Laura's in saying you could make a garland with ribbons and attach clothes pins on the backs of the gingerbread men oh, so nice. you can hold up your Christmas cards for the season. That is a great idea. That's brilliant. Oh, I might love have to use that, that idea. Mm. Oh, and she's saying well done ladies, I love chatting. Um, right, so uh, the craft along is all about uh, getting festive. Uh, now if you've just joined us and you're wondering what craft alongs are all about, the Saturday craft along or the sewing craft along uh, is all about Becky creating a project that's going to go through different weeks uh, so she's going to be starting the craft along which we're already doing we're like 45 minutes into the craft along I don't know where that's gone um, and making that amazing reef but also you can join Becky every Wednesday at 5 p.m. on her Facebook page uh, which is Becky Swan at CC um, or Crafters Companion and you will find her um, her videos that she puts up her lives they are which means you can interact you can ask questions Becky can stop she can show you lots of different things uh, so it's going to be a really great one to join in for so make sure that you put that in your diary for 5 p.m uh, on Wednesdays because that's going to be amazing now we are using today what you can see just here uh, which is the amazing multi-craft festive dyes uh, they are treat dyes which means you can use them to put treats in their tummies or you can just use them as uh, they are intended as a little character we've got the Christmas tree we've got the uh, gingerbread man the penguin and the snowman 
and 37 dies in total you're also getting this big roll of vinyl fabric as well to help you make some of those bits and pieces uh, all today for 39 pounds 28 or 51 dollars and eight um, you're also saving 10 percent and then another five percent on top of that because we are in our double discount sale which is amazing uh, there's lots of um, discounted things on the website so make sure you run across there uh, click on all those different links and they will take you to the sale which is seven to up to 70 percent off uh, we've also got double discounts we've got double points so uh, lots to uh, have a shop for on there or you can just shop the day uh, on anything that we've got in today's shows uh, right we're going to head back over to uh, becky uh, and carry on the craft along what's Excellent. next becky we're going to do flowers now Amazing. so we're going to be sort of jumping back and forth so i'm just going to give you like an overview of all the different aspects of the wreath um, at the moment and then we will try and assemble we will be assembling it and putting everything together um, once we do the facebook live so the first thing we're going to look at are the beautiful blooms these are flower dyes and the fabulous flowers so the beautiful blooms i'm only using this dye puts in it which it creates um kind of a a ruched um center this is this piece here so we're just using that one for this one here and then from the fabulous flowers i'm using these heart-shaped dies um, and actually as luck would have it if you wanted to use the large a very large heart-shaped dies you can use a heart tummy from the gingerbread band um, which is just a little bit bigger than that um, but what i need is i'm going to be making these flowers which are an approximation of a christmas um, rose which is more of a, which is a hellebore um, i want four of these small ones and four of these large ones and one of these centers for each one of those and I need to make eight all together so we're going to start by putting those together now so we're going to do two um, we're going to do two layers of, of felt for this one but I'm only I'm going to actually I'm going to do two layers of felt for this one as well and see how they come out and um, because this has got lots of um, uh, lines in it it might need to go through the machine twice or you might need to um, sort of jig it about you can see how it works for you um, so oh that's no good the tape underneath let's put the tape there that's a terrible uh, Nicholas said that's no good I'm really good with my puns I think <laughs> I, the one I won yesterday when we were doing um, it was a, a great deal mm. Did I make you want to leave oh my goodness I'm so sorry about that, Nicola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's gone through once. Let's see how these have come out. Oops. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. So two layers of felt here. They've gone through fine. Sometimes you get a little bit, because they're quite fibrous, the felt, you might find that you um, just sort of need to pull them apart. But if I pull them like this, um, I can open up all of those little um, sections here like that and fold it over and that's going to create all of those kind of ruched stamens that are going to go around um, my uh, in the center of my flower and again this one here so you can see how that's going to look we're going to fold them all around and create that ruched um, center and then these are our little petals so we're just going to be popping these to one side so this little bit here is um, going to be a little bit tedious because we're cutting out um, all of these different flowers but we need we need a few um, like I say we need four of each size petal um, for each flower and we need eight flowers all together now you can absolutely if you don't have these um, and I don't think Lisa does have these dyes she is using flower forming foam um, you can absolutely do that no problem at all um, that's a, a good thing to use um, with the flower forming dyes um, you could use these dyes with your flower forming foam as well um, they would obviously work slightly sort of differently um, because you you know obviously want to heat those up um, but you can absolutely use that and just any kind of sort of flower shaped dyes um, to create these sort of um, pretty pretty florals that we're going to have here so again run that through the machine again I'm cutting more of, of everything I'm just going to continue like this as I go along tidy up a little bit don't normally tidy up at home just leave it all in the big mess but here I feel I've got to tidy up <laughs> Debbie's here and Debbie's very tidy <laughs> and Becky's not I'm not I'm really not tidy at all I often think so we're obviously in the, in the same house together and I think oh, I wonder if Debbie looks past my room and thinks oh my god what a mess 
I've never done that, to Do be not. honest. I've never gone into anyone's room when they're there. So oh, I'm... no, no, but when you sort of look past, if the window, the window, the door's open, oh, yeah, they're so like, I oh. wouldn't, I wouldn't take no notice. I bet you she would. I bet I, you'd I'd... be like, oh, <laughs> Becky, I'm sorry, your room's untidy. <laughs> I have, I have to admit, I've done that with Corinne once before. Really? Only, well, not, and only because I've had to go in to grab the hairdryer. Yeah. And she wasn't there, and that, that was messy. Really? I can't imagine Corinne being <laughs> I know, messy. I know, but it was a little bit messy. Oh, yes. my goodness. What did she say? I didn't I'm say sorry, anything. I'm it's pulling you up. No, you it's like not a I major. Never. I don't knock anyone else's mess. I'm just <laughs> not messy myself. No, you're not. You're very, very tidy. Very tidy indeed. Right, so we're going to cut, we'll just continue doing it like this. Um, so when do you start getting ready for Christmas? When do you start planning all your Christmas bits and pieces? Uh, as soon as Christmas is over. Halloween. Um, so I normally buy presents in the January sales. Oh, so as soon as, sorry, I thought you meant ha as soon as Halloween's over. Oh, but no, no, for previous no Christmas. as soon as Christmas is over. No. Yeah, I'm always thinking of Christmas, always thinking about what I can buy. We've literally just bought another present last week. Al's getting the same as well. He just bought a present for my son-in-law. Yeah, so I start getting them all early. No, think that's about what crazy. They like and what, well, I don't know how people would afford Christmas otherwise. Like, it's so expensive when it comes round to Christmas. Oh, it, it I is. sort of split it over the year. Yeah. Uh, what we didn't do last year, and we really wanted to do, because my Christmas tree broke last year. Oh. So we managed to patch it together to hold out for the year, and then we said we'd go in the sales and get a new tree, and we never did. So I'm going to have to pay out for a full tree this year. Ah. Uh, but I might get a real tree. Have you not had a real tree No, before? well... I've ne I never have a real tree and only because um, I prefer an artificial tree because um, it's because I like having things when I do my tree I like it to be quite perfect okay that and I always sound... think a real tree the branches aren't always perfect yeah so when you're hanging things sometimes it's difficult you've got to get the perfect tree and then when you and you don't know it's the perfect tree until you take the netting off and it all falls down and then you're not and then you've got baubles hanging in not the right areas and so i've never been a fan for that reason but okay. the first year that i met al he had a real tree and he had a lovely real tree yeah and it was just beautiful but then we bought an artificial tree because i wanted an artificial tree so i'm actually thinking this year we might get a real tree and i have wood flooring now downstairs so yeah. if the needles come off it's yeah. easy to just sweep them up mm -hmm. So I might get a real one this year, maybe. I like the snow effect trees, see. I like with oh, loads yeah. of snow all over them. Know what you mean. I love, a, I love a real tree, and I love the smell of a real tree, but I've, I've got a real thing about the smell of tinsel. I love the smell of tinsel. You love the smell I of tinsel? I love the smell of tinsel. So I don't like tinsel, and I don't use tinsel, so I don't even know what the smell of tinsel oh, is. Delicious. Really? It's, it's like, I don't know, it's just dusty. Dusty and I don't know. There's That's something about delicious. it. That's not delicious. Dusty is not delicious, <laughs> no. Becky. No, there's something about it. I don't know what it is. I think it's. I think it's more of like. Um it's an evocative kind of smell because you sort of remember what you know your childhood was like when you're getting out the um, the bits of pieces of the tinsel pieces and that kind of thing. I think that's where that comes from uh, because oh. I, I just I just love it and I have um I like the smell of petrol. I have a bit of tinsel in my in my in my craft room. It's not doing anything. I just sometimes when I'm thinking about things, I you sit there and smell it. <laughs> Okay, Becky is now officially a weirdo. <laughs> Do you know what? Sarah said I was weird yesterday, and I, I think I'm just compounding that view. Why aren't did she I? say you were weird? I'm so weird. Was it because I said I smell my cutlery? You smell yeah. your cutlery? Yeah. I yeah, I am. Um, the I'm only time I do that, and that's if, you know, when you go home and you've been working away and someone hasn't replaced the tea towel, and you think, what's that smell? Oh. And then you smell it and think, is it because it's dried up with the tea towel? It's not a clean tea towel because no one's replaced the tea towel. So that was the, that's the only thing that would perhaps prompt me to smell something. No, for me, it's when you have. <laughs> <laughs> when you go out somewhere really posh and they've got like silver cutlery and they've polished it and they haven't taken all off all the polish and it smells of polish i can't i've been to so many places for for dinner 
and it's the first thing I do, I sit down and I smell the cutlery. And if the cutlery smells bad, I say, I'm really sorry, can you re replace this? And I was Can the, you polish my cutlery, I was, please? I was at the Ritz for <laughs> afternoon tea, and I said, I I'm really you're sorry. I told a posh bird. I don't, I don't like, it was my birthday. Um, I'm sorry, but could I have some different cutlery? This one smells. Um, I said, could I just have some stainless steel cutlery? And they were like, this is the Ritz. We don't have stainless steel cutlery. And I said, I'm sure you've got stainless steel cutlery in the kitchen. I said, can I just have that? Um, and they think I'm really odd, but then they smell the cutlery and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I can understand because it smells of like silver polish and I don't like it. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I smell my cutlery. Maybe this is why I should always eat with my... Um, uh, my, with with my, my chopsticks. Oh, yes. Just of course. to make sure. I mean, I do carry around a pouch of um, cutlery myself. Do you? Yeah. And then you're saying I'm weird. That's not weird, though. Is it not weird? <laughs> Let's just do a straw poll in, in the studio. <laughs> How many people here carry their own cutlery with them? <laughs> it's just in a little pouch. I love my cutlery. It's a little green pouch with a little zip top, and it's literally well, like got a, camping. Pool, a knife. Well, like I. You've got a spork in there. <laughs> no, and no chopsticks. <laughs> I've just got a teaspoon, a, a dessert spoon, and uh, a knife and fork in there. Honestly, I'm sure lots of people have a, a cutlery that they carry around. Yeah, when they go camping or a caravan or something like that, but you're having your handbag. But when anyway. you're working away, mm, yeah, like, that's true. Because I'm working away, and like there's like sometimes you go to the hotel and you get food in. Yeah, and yeah. then you've not got see. And sometimes their cut their cutlery is not very clean. <laughs> <laughs> it smells funny. I'm talking about getting food from in, not from the hotel. Oh, okay. And then you've got no cutlery, you'd have to go and ask. So you've got your own cutlery. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. yeah I'm with you on that. Lot. Okay. It doesn't sound quite <laughs> so strange. It it's really. not as weird as uh, as not as smelling your cutlery. I tell you what, people will now, when you go go somewhere nice, you'll be like, that, that uh, well, smell. I'll smell it mm -hmm. just to see if it has got a smell. I don't yeah. think cutlery has a smell. Oh, it does. It and does. I don't. I don't go at posh places. The poshest place I went to was the Shard last weekend. Oh, that's really posh. Yeah, that is really posh. It's the posh place I've ever been to. Uh, we only went because someone bought our voucher, so that was the only reason we was there. Nice. Um, it was the biggest bill I've ever experienced in my whole life. You're a posh bird, so you would have had big bills. Um, I'm not posh bird, so I don't have big bills like that. And I've never smelt polish on cutlery before. So you, that's, uh, you, will rem you will remember to give it a sniff in the future. I might start polishing my own cutlery with the polish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never coming to your house for dinner, is all I'm going to say. Um, right, what I'm doing here is I've just got my yellow um, centre of my flowers and I'm folding it in half and I'm putting a little bit of glue in here and being really, really careful uh, with my hot glue. Now, if you don't want to use hot glue, you can absolutely use some textile glue or any other kind of glue that's going to work sticking this felt together. You can use that all purpose glue. It's just going to take a little bit of time for it to go off. Um, so you might want to do all the centers first of all, leave them to dry, and then work on the flower petals. But we're going to try and do everything in one go. Um, so we're just pressing in here. Um, I am a big advocate for having those silicon um, finger protectors when you're using hot glue. Oh, yeah. um, but mine have fallen apart and I haven't replaced them yet. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a little bit of a wiggle. Um, we want to keep this piece here with that little circle to the very end. And what we want to do here is fold this over. So I want to fold over and we want to glue and we want to wrap all the way around. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And you can use your tweezers or your pokey tool to get this started. Um, I just found that I ha I'm not very adept with my tweezers. I think I need to practice a little bit more. Um, so I found it was a little bit easier with my fingers. So a little bit of glue. I'm just rolling around to create that sort of centerpiece like that. There we go. George is a singer in the gallery today. Is he singing Aqua Barbie Girl? Is that what he's singing? I thought he was singing Rolling, Rolling, Rolling. And then when we get to this that, end here, high, we're just going <laughs> to fold that over to finish that little centerpiece. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. And that is going to be our centre of our flower. So we're just going to uh, puff that up a little bit um, and then leave it to um, dry. Now, we, next thing we want to do is we want to use the small petals. So we've got four small petals. And we're going to start... I'm going to pop a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to pop that petal like that. And we want to overlap our petals 
as we go round. Like that. And obviously with the, um, if you're using flower forming foam, which I think Lisa is, um, you will, you've seen, there's been loads of videos to show you how to use your flower forming foam um, to get the best effect um, out of your flowers. How many is a good amount of petals? Um, well, because I, I sort of, as I say, I've loosely based this on a, a Christmas rose. Um, so they don't have, they're not roses, they're more, they're hellebores. So they tend to have sort of um, bigger, rounder flat, um, petals. Um, so I'm using four, mid, four small and four large here. But it's entirely up to you what you want to do. I mean, you might want to make something that's a little bit more carnation-like or um, maybe poinsettias. Um, it, that might be the kind of thing that you want to do. And then poinsettias tend to be the same. They're basically leaves, aren't they, all the way along? Yes. They're just different colours. Um, so you can do that. But I think you know, four seems to be, four of each size seems to be just about right. They're a nice shape, these petals. Yeah. And if you get that um, collection of dyes, there's quite a few different shaped petals um, that you can use. They're ones that have got a little bit more of a dimple in the yeah. middle, so they're like hearts with a bit of a, 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 um, a dimple in them, which looks quite pretty as well. Um, but this, I thought, was quite nice, just having it quite simple. Um, but if you haven't got the dyes, um, you want to cut some of your um, felt, you can do in a simple design. Um, you could use those hearts that come. We had nesting hearts on the show earlier on, didn't we? Um, you yep. could use those nesting heart dyes um, to create the petals. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, there's lots of options you can do. Um, but again, you know, if you've got any paper craft or flower forming foam dyes, you could use those um, with the felt as well. So there you go, as your first um, little flower. And we're going to make all of those the same. So we want to have um, eight of those all together. We're going to make the same size um, wreath that I've done there. Um, I'll do another one, and then we'll go on to making some of the little sprays with the ribbon. So we can show you again how we're going to do it. So again, we're starting from the, the end that doesn't have that little circle, a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to fold that over match up those points just give it a little bit of a press just be really careful with them um, not burning yourself with the glue gum my mum always says she's got asbestos fingers because she gl glued herself together so many times <laughs> using the glue gum because it used to be something you couldn't get you know as a as a consumer they just didn't exist you could get them like a like a um an industrial glue yes, gun, but yeah. you couldn't get them. And I think it's amazing that we've can, we can easily get things like that now. It makes life so much easier. Okay, so we've, we've glued that part together. You can see all those little um, loops that we've got here. And then we're going to fold that over like that and glue it. And this is part of those petal dies. These are your fabulous flowers and... I can't remember the other one. Was it Beautiful Blooms? Yeah, beautiful blooms, um, dyes that we we launched a while ago. Um, got all sorts of different um, flowers you can make there. So there's some with some of them you can make really beautiful, um, very kind of realistic um, sunflowers. So just wrapping that round here, like that, till you get to the end, and then folding that over. Have you got those over there? Those dyes. Yeah, well, they're, beautiful they're amazing. We'll have a look at them in a second. Yeah, when you've um, when you've made this. So we've flower. got our centre there, and then we're just going to do we're just going to do another one here. So we're using those four small petals. And we're going to overlap them. You know what? I always think that um, when I use my glue gum. I wish the cable was a little bit longer. I don't know why. It's always a little bit... You need to make sure that you... Don't, well, I suppose because you want to be sure you're not going to drop it on the floor. Um, I think that would be quite handy if mine was a little bit longer. I don't have this one. I wonder where the projects have gone that have made the packaging, because these are beautiful. I think I've got a couple of them over here, actually, um, on, my, on my trolley. Makes me sound like a... Um, a tea lady. I do, I sound like that lady from Harry Potter, don't I? <laughs> that one here. Okay. 
<laughs> Apparently, I'm not even. I'm going to look at the comments because you're uh, having a discussion about your cutlery. Does anyone else? Does anyone else have the same problem with cutlery as I do? Um, or is it just Li me? Lillian's saying that Becky, I heard, I thought I heard Sarah say that you were weird, but I thought she was. I thought she made a mistake. <laughs> no. no, she said I'm really weird. Really weird. Really yes. weird. Uh, Deborah's saying I'm like you, Debbie. Um, I start Christmas, uh, getting ready for Christmas uh, straight after the first, what the last one. Um, Klein F on YouTube is saying I have a pouch as well with my own cutlery in it. Laura is saying I have a small kit with a fork, uh, a butter spoon, and chopsticks in it. Um, oh, but AK Sorry, on a YouTube. Butter spoon? A, a, Did you a say butter, butter spoon? A, a fork, butter. Yeah, butter spoon and what's chopsticks. A, what's a butter spoon? Is that for like a scoop of butter? I have a small, small mm. kit of a fork. Butter. Oh, I bet that's butter knife. Oh. Then spoon. It doesn't say knife though, so I bet that's butter knife, spoon and chopsticks. But AK on YouTube said, "Nah, don't. I don't carry my cutlery. Never seen anyone do it. So yeah, you're weird." <laughs> <laughs> uh, what she's saying is, I must be OCD. Um, I think everyone's a little bit OCD over things, but I would not say I was OCD because um, I know that's very disabilitating to some people absolutely out there. So, uh, But I, thought, I think we've all got forms of it, haven't we? Uh, Lillian saying, Becky, I... Th oh, no, read that one. Caroline saying she carries a small pouch of cutlery with her as well. Okay. Shadi is saying that I used to carry my own cutlery as well uh, until I met my hubby and then he told me that it doesn't look good, so I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you. I thought you were going to say uh, she now get, gets a hobby to carry her. <laughs> Um, Rosalind, going back to the craft along, um, Rosalind's saying, um, will fabric glue work on the flowers as well? Yes, it will. Um, now, with the fabric, it depends what kind of fabric you're going to be using. I would suggest you give it a bit of a play. And actually, it works really well if you're going to use something like organza, because you've got that really beautiful um, kind of softness that you get with organza. If you're going to be cutting organza, you want to cut at least 10 layers at a time, because it, there's, it's so, so fine. Um, I would just give it a try. You can try it with um, a little bit of maybe maybe some calico would might look quite nice. Again, thicker, so you probably want to use less. Um, maybe stiffening some, um, actually cutting out out of muslin, then putting some spray starch on it and then making it sort of more rigid. That could look really, really oh, nice. Oh, yeah, sounds yeah, amazing. Like that idea. All these uh, different options. Shadia says she has these dyes, Becky. Um, she's so happy you're demoing them. Um, and she also has a wireless glue gun. She said it's brilliant. It charges cool. with the USB. Uh, and Sylvie's saying, I don't like silver cutlery at all. Even if you can't smell the polish, it still, still tastes funny. There you go. Thank you. Thank ah. you. I'm not just odd. It's <laughs> not just odd. It's not, well, I'm not, it's a lot not more just than just odd. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is, um, it is a, a problem. Maybe I need my own cutlery to take with me. Mm. I do have... To, when, I, when I sit at dinner table, I do like to concentrate on, the one, on one person at a time, not necessarily the person that's talking. And so sometimes I, like, make a, make a, like, a little telescope. Okay, yes, you are weird. Yeah. My, my daughter's boyfriend <laughs> got me a little actual telescope in a little box. Because you so, just stare at someone. So sometimes, you know, like you'll be, you know, we're at dinner, and I might go... I'm going to concentrate on Debbie. Yeah, I would be a bit uncomfortable. I think that's very weird, <laughs> Becky. That is, like, the weirdest thing I've ever heard, in fact. You're not just weird, you're insane. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm not going to be asked back again. They're going to be like, no, that was really odd. Right. <laughs> right we're going to make some little sprays. <laughs> I can't even talk now. <coughs> I'm going to make some little sprays um, with the ribbon. Um, now, I've done, let me just have a look, one, two, three, four, five, six, around about six out of the gingham and around about six out of the um, fine ribbon. And all I've done is I've pre-cut some wire, some floristry wire. Um, now, I know someone's going to ask me what gauge it is, and I've lost the label that had the gauge. Um, it's fairly bendy. I can't remember. I think it's 10 gauge. 10 gauge, 12 gauge, or 16 gauge. It's not really any help. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to just loop the ribbon, um, and I'm, I'm sort of guesstimating how big I want these loops to be. Um, so I just want to, I don't not necessarily want to make sure that the ribbon is all facing the right way, because they're going to be like little sprays. We want to do that with the, um, the thicker ribbon, but with the finer ribbon, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, so we're just getting an idea of how 
how many sprays, how many loops we can have with the ribbon. And then once we're happy with it, we're just going to hold on to this end and then get your um, wire. And I'm going to make a little bend in the middle. And I'm going to throw it across my, my desk. And then I'm going to pop <laughs> that little um, piece of ribbon inside that little V. And then I'm going to twist my wire around. And that is going to create that little spray. So it's going to anchor all of that ribbon together. So I'm just going to go round and round like that. And then we've got these little sprays. And we're going to use those. They're going to sort of go amongst the flowers and the decorations and the little gingerbread men. Um, so we need quite a few of those. And we need quite a few of the ginghams. The gingham one, you want to make sure you're keeping your ribbon nice and flat and straight. George is saying they do look like fried eggs to him. They, they actually make me think of, when I think of fried eggs, I think of those sweet fried eggs, you know, yeah. Haribo's, yes. Yeah, that's what they remind me of now. Yeah, I love a Haribo I, I, fried egg. I can't, I keep looking at them and thinking fried eggs. So maybe you want to use a different colour or maybe a different yellow, maybe. Um, what made me put white, white, and, white and yellow because Christmas roses generally are those kind of colours. That's... And so a little bit of a V here, and then I'm going to twist well, that Whenever wire. you see a Christmas rose, you'll just think of fried eggs now. Yeah, we'll think of fried eggs. Okay. I don't think they look like fried eggs. Might need a little bit more wire, I think they though. look like a very pretty flower. Oh, thanks, Debbie. You're just trying to make, that, make up for the fact that you said I was weird. Oh, no, oh, I'm insane. not going to ever make up for the fact of that. Not now insane. you told me that you, you create a tube to look at people across the table. I mean, that's, that's just not, not normal, a tube. Becky. A tube out of my fingers, my hands. It's just not normal. No? Not normal, no. I'm no. glad we didn't go out for dinner last night. <laughs> I would have done it at I'm dinner. I'm glad we had the telly to watch. <laughs> a little bit like that. Just so do a tube out of your napkin and keep staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> do you not think that is weird? No. That's really, really weird. <laughs> it's not weird. It, it's, it's, almost, it's like sometimes, you know, people are talking and I really want to concentrate on what they're saying. You yeah, know, so I get I that. No, I, get I want that. no distra distractions of other people. I just need to... No, no, I said they might not necessarily be talking, but it might be somebody that I want but to focus on. But you still on. don't make them look like you've got them in your bullseye. <laughs> With a tube. <laughs> <laughs> my, my family thinks it's really weird as well. <laughs> now she tells us. <laughs> Could you not have put that before you apply for the job? <laughs> my, my, my daughter goes, please don't take out your telescope <laughs> when we go out for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they do think it's quite weird. How right, we're just going to carry on making a few of these, and then um, I will, um, speaking of the time, what we'll do is we'll cover the, the wire frame with the hessian, um, and we'll show how we would put the rest of it together. Because uh, probably won't, we won't have time, we might have time to stop. Well, actually, you, wouldn't, you don't want to start putting it together until you've got all the things made. Um, so what we would probably do is go back and make another gingerbread man if we've got enough time. Amazing. Um, but you can see how we are putting it all together. Always good to recap on those things. It is, yeah. I do love this, though. I'm in a cluster of ribbon. Never thought to do it like this. Looks pretty. I think it looks quite, you know, because sometimes you want a bit of a filler. Um, yeah. You know, maybe you want to maybe you want to make some leaves. Um, I was just going to say you could do this with green, yeah. and it would look like foliage then as well, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, the ribbon. Again, just putting the wire around. Um, if you didn't want to use wire, you could use tape, um, and maybe you could use like floristry tape, um, or you could use um, ordinary, um, not low tack tape, but no, normal sort of parcel tape. Um, that would be fine. Um, I've got a bit of. A bit of floristy, floristy. Let's get some of this here so you can see what that looks like. But you would want to, with floristry tape, um, if you you don't ch tend to want to cover up the bits of wire. Um, so if you use floristry tape, it's not. 
don't know if anyone's ever used it before. It's not. It's a little bit like crepe paper, um, but it's got a bit of. Um, uh, is it a little bit like it. washi tape? No, oh, it's okay. not. It's it's got a texture to it, um, like crepe paper, um, but it's not really not really um, sticky. But as you pull it, it sort of um, becomes quite sticky. So you can see you're finishing off here. Does that make sense? It's all, It's got no. It hasn't got any glue um, on it particularly. It's just uh, as as you pull it apart or as you sort of stretch it. Oh, okay. I think I think it's almost like there's glue within the fibres of like it. Almost like a cling film. Yeah. Type it's it, it's um. You, you can have you can have a little bit. You have a little bit, bit, bit of a play. Um, but I've you can never, see, never seen it before. So you can see know. here as you're going around. If you want to sort of hide the wire, if you've got a, you know, I've got purple wire here, um, which you no know, isn't ideal. But you can see I'm finishing off like that, and then, then if it can be seen, you're only going to see a little bit of green, which is quite nice actually, because like you say, you know, it looks a bit more like it's the the green of the yeah. um, the plants. Um, but it probably, look, see how it goes here. Um, so it's as, it basically, as you pull it, it's almost like there's glue inside it. As you pull it, it becomes sort of sticky. Um, it is quite strange stuff. It's a bit like me, yeah, thanks for that. Um, but you can see here, it goes, um, you can put it over the actual bit of ribbon, but it's, it's mainly really to sort of protect that wire that you've got there. And we've got that. Well, that? Klein is saying it's not weird. Um, it's just eccentric. Eccentric. Yes. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's better to be the char a character. People are like, oh, that Becky, she's a character. Um, Phil says she loves you, Becky. You're hilarious. Aww. Um, yeah, but I think everyone does think I'm a little bit odd. Bit Tess strange. is watching and she says she's so excited to have the regular sewing shows. Is it first Saturday or second Saturday? It's the second Saturday. And Sylvie's saying, Becky, I feel like I need to make you a periscope so people don't know that you're staring at them. No, Sylvie, that's the point. It'll <laughs> look like she's staring even more at them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people are going to think I'm really, really odd. Right. So we've got our flowers. We've got um, some sprays with the ribbon. We've also got just one just one little um, gingerbread person um, and we're now we're going to start by getting the frame and wrapping it up with some hessian ribbon um, so we can see how amazing to... right shall we just have a little break there mm -hmm. and um, just uh, give everyone a chance to catch up on those pieces we will check back in uh, with our Lisa as well uh, but first of all let's just have a look at these dies because these are the ones that Becky's using we've got the fabulous flowers uh, really beautiful dies uh, we'll get Becky to sort out some samples so we can have a look at some of those they are absolutely stunning but turn them around you can see all those different dies you're getting 13 pieces in that one set which is amazing all those different leaf shapes uh, your foliage the stamens uh, which are amazing you get 14 dies in this one if I turn them around look at amount of dies that you're getting they're absolutely incredible uh, now that's good just for the dies but we are giving you uh, this set of hardware now the hardware has got your brooch back your lobster clips your key rings some felt balls um, and some white ribbon in there so you're getting all of that in that little pack 22 piece set and then you're also getting a really large wad of our felt as well which is amazing uh, to make all those flowers I think that's a great little kit uh, you're saving 30% on that and an extra 20% uh, making that a platinum price of £23.72 or $31.71 uh, I think that's a great deal that little bundle there uh, you've got some samples there Becky as well actually, with those. I've ended up picking up one but I mean it's, it's my favourite oh, sample because it is beautiful another wreath um, but this is one it's not actually it is on the packaging um, so here we've done some leaves and what we've done here we've just taken a piece of wire and then we've glued if I show you to the rear we've just glued all of those little leaves onto the back and it means you can create like this whole kind of spray um, to it um, really really easy to adapt 
um, lots of different types of flowers here. Um, you can make them in all sorts of different ways, different fabrics, different colours, um, maybe sort of are using white, but maybe using some pigments to um, ink up on some of those um, different um, felts and that kind of thing. It looks really, really beautiful. Um, very much sort of like eucalyptus, um, some of these sort of leaves. Um, I think beautiful. they're lovely, really easy to work with. Yeah, it's so lovely. Um, I love the fact that you could be making those, you could be making the wreaths that Becky's making in the craft along. Uh, so many things that you can do with them. Um, if you uh, did want to uh, go for that collection today, that is the uh, number to, uh, to get that on. Uh, right, we're going to check back in with Lisa now to see how she's doing. Lisa, how are you getting on? Okay, thank you. I'm just oh, making amazing. flowers. <laughs> so you're making your flowers out of foam? Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. They look amazing. Oh, they look great. And how many layers? Because are you using the same dyes as what um, our Becky is? No. Our different um, I'm using, I think it was a Christmas one from a while ago. From the foam flowers? Yeah, oh, Christmas amazing. rose. amazing, yes. Yeah, yeah so it's Christmas got. rose, but it's a different one to what Becky's using. Amazing. Oh, that's great. I love that, that you can versatile um, different ones, different flowers, and make it your own. Uh, are you enjoying the project so far? Yes, I am. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. So pleased. And are you sewing or are you um, gluing, um, Lisa? Gluing. Gluing. I'm gluing. Same as Becky. Brilliant. Ah, yeah. oh, that's amazing. So no sewing for you today. <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. We will check back in with you a bit later on. Thank you. Uh, right, we're going to have a little bit of a break just to get you to check out your baskets. Uh, but do come back to finish off this amazing craft along. Uh, so just take a look at these videos. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. in. Should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? She looks. <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really 
They go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. So other customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that. Craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Oh, welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a lovely Saturday. We're having a great time here. We're just saying how lovely uh, this craft along is and it's just going and going along at a really lovely pace. Uh, so I hope you're all finding it uh, great at home and let us know if you're crafting along. Uh, now remember this craft along doesn't just finish here. It does finish today, uh, but our Becky will be taking the reins on in her own home uh, in her craft room uh, doing the craft along for the next four uh, consecutive uh, Wednesdays at five p.m. Uh, we're um, she's got a new studio built well spare room uh, but it has been turned into a studio for her and uh, she's going to be uh, broadcasting live every Wednesday which is very exciting especially uh, if you are someone that loves to sew or maybe a beginner sewer and you just want someone to follow along with or ask some questions um, Becky will be fully interactive and uh, I take it you will be I'm saying that Becky I take it you will be answering questions being able to it's very exciting um, are you on your own yeah yes. and, I, and I've got little things to switch to the different cameras oh it's quite cool I like oh, the idea yes. um, yeah looking forward to that um, yes um, my, my both my children went oh I can't believe you're doing this upstairs and that <laughs> means we can't do have me noisy upstairs and I said yes you can't be noisy upstairs on a Wednesday at five o'clock for like an hour <laughs> out of the whole oh, I don't know why you can't use one of your other rooms um, anyway I've got, I've got the spare room, I've got the little <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny room, and I do have to sort of manoeuvre. You know that um, episode, that film, Entrapment? You know, when Catherine Zeta-Jones yes, is going through, through the all, beams of light. That is how I have to get into the room, <laughs> because there's stuff everywhere. Um, it's not, <laughs> there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cameras, there's not a lot of space, because it's right in the eaves. But yeah, I'm looking forward to giving it a go, seeing how it works out, and seeing if I'm, I'm giving you what you want to see. Yeah. Um, but if there's things that you want me to sort of cover in those Facebook Lives, it is every Wednesday at 5 o'clock, and, and like I said, not all the time where we have... Um, you know, so pro the project won't last, um, you know, sort of half an hour for, you know, each week. Yeah. So we can always add extra things. So, like, I will do something about using your sewing machine, basics of sewing for people that haven't done that before, maybe something on the builder block as well. And maybe just a general chit-chat with yeah. Becky you might just want and get uh, up close and personal on her uh, Facebook Lives, which will be amazing. Uh, now, today, we are doing those amazing festive dyes. Uh, it's what Becky's been using in her demo. She's using that gorgeous gingerbread man, but you are getting the snowman with that. You're getting the penguin and the Christmas trees. We do have a craft along guest, Lisa, and she's been using the penguins, which look super cute. You're also getting that tube of vinyl fabric as well, 37 dyes in total, platinum and price of £31.42 or $40.86. Uh, it's double discount on everything uh, this uh, weekend. It's 10% uh, off this one and then a 5% off. Um, now, 
not supposed to tell you, but I can tell you because it's only Crafters TV that's going to tell you, nowhere else. But it's a secret sale. Uh, you can go onto the website. You have to click. Now, am I right in thinking the last chance? Oh, it says, so you search the word last chance. That's why it's secret. So search the word last chance. It will go into the secret sale. Now, look at some of these items that we've got in there. Uh, these are rock bottom prices that you're going to try and to still whisper because I just don't want the world to know but honestly I love a secret sale and I love a really good bargain but it's a secret so just go and shop it before all those goodies go it's absolutely amazing but you're also getting double points you're also getting double discounts you're also getting up to 70% off in the sale so lots of really good reasons to shop across on Crafters Companion uh, right for now we're going to get back over to Becky we're literally in the last 30 minutes of the show um, and we're going to see what else Becky's got in store for us. Becky, what have you got? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cover the wire, wire wreath. You can get lots of different ones. I bought this one um, online, um, got a pack of five. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very expensive. You can get other ones with three um, sort of uh, circles in them. Um, if you get something like that, um, Google um, burlap wreaths, and there's really good tutorials to show you how to um, sort of ruche up the burlap um, and then create these sort of really kind of ruchy, um, very intricate kind of um, wreaths. We can't do that with these ones. We're just going to wrap it. So what I've got here is some burlap ribbon. Um, which I think smells really nice. Um, it's three <laughs> inches wide, um, but you could get, if you have something that's wider or, or thinner, um, you could um, absolutely still use it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off, um, I've just folded it over to create a, a point, um, just because it's a little bit easier. And I'm just going to start wrapping it around my um, wreath. Um, I am going to glue this in just a moment. So I'm just going to get um, a little bit of the burlap there before I put some glue on. Otherwise, the glue is because of the way the burlap is, or the hessium, um, it's just going, the glue is just going to disappear um, through the little holes and onto my fingers. And this wreath, Becky, you can get from any florist? Florist or online, yeah. Okay. Um, quite easy to get hold of. And they're just called a florist wreath? They could, yeah, flor a wire, wire floristry wreath. Um, we're just going to um, wrap this around and we want to overlap. Um, I think it was around about three metres worth of burlap ribbon that I used um, in this width um, when I was making the other one. Um, something along those kinds of lines. But it comes in a five or a ten metre um, roll, so you've got plenty here. And as I say, you know, if you wanted to make them into little roses and decorate the um, you know, the wreath with roses made out of hessian, you can absolutely do that. So you can see I'm just overlapping. I'm just working that way around and I'm putting it quite tight. I've put some glue at the outset, at the very beginning here, but I'm not going to put any more glue um, throughout. I'm just going to keep on wrapping it around. I quite like this kind of country rustic kind of um, it feel rustic, to it. Yeah, like shabby chic. Yeah, and I really like using um, the, what's it called, craft card. I really like using that. I think that's lovely um, in my Christmas cards and things. So I would be, if I'm going to be making a wreath like this, I'd probably be using um, my craft card and when I'm doing my cards. And th th again, I think I've said this before, I really like things to match. Um, so if I was, if I had my theme and I was going to be using these gingerbread um, people for my wreath, I would make my decorations on my tree with the gingerbread um, decorations. I would make my Christmas cards um, with those because obviously you can use them because they're multimedia dies, so you can use them for paper and card. Um, I'd be using that, that kind of motif everywhere. So making sure that's sort of even, just wrapping that around. Mm -hmm. Got in a bit of a tangle there. There you go. So you can just see, just putting it and fixing it round like that. And you say this is about three metres long? I think it was around about three metres is what I used. Um, I will check my actual uh, measurements, but I think it was, that was roughly what I said. And I think I, I, you know, I put too much, you know, allowed for plenty. I mean, I'm overlapping quite significantly. Yeah. Um, you could get away with just sort of overlapping it that much. 
um, if yes, that's what you course. want to do. But I, I think it's quite nice for it to have a little bit of a structure to it. Yes. Okay. A little bit more. I'm just folding that around. So, Debbie, what kind of cake have you got for your daughter if you're having a tropical... Uh, so I'm quite lucky. My um, eldest daughter, she's uh, quite good at baking cakes. Oh, OK. Um, she's very good, in fact, but she doesn't think she's very good. <laughs> so, and everyone says to her, you should do it for a living because she's very, very good at making cakes or yeah. designing them afterwards. Yeah. Um, but she's too nervous. She's too, too much of a perfectionist. Oh, OK. Um, so she just does them for family, really. That's all she'll do them for. So she's actually making uh, my daughter's uh, cake. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, which is really nice. So, because um, I was going to get her one made, and then she was like, "Oh, I'll make Kyra's cake." She made her 16th birthday cake. Yeah. We had a Harry Potter um, themed birthday party for her on her 16th, and she made the most amazing. I mean, I, it's truly amazing. I have to try and find a picture. It was a unicorn, but in Harry Potter style. Because she loved unicorns, so it was yeah. a unicorn in a Harry Potter style, and it had like the the unicorn's hair was all the Harry Potter Gryffindor color. Oh. And, uh, yeah, it was just amazing. But uh, even when she made that, she um, had sort of. She, I have to, I'll try and find it when we have a break. Um, yeah, so my daughter was. Um, uh, oh, what's her name? It's gone out of my head. Her, no, no, no. The um, um, Bellatrix. Oh, she okay. was Bellatrix. Yeah, um, my uh, my daughter herself. She was uh, Hermione. Um, yeah, and her boyfriend's time, he was uh, Harry Potter. No, he wasn't. He was Ron Weasley and dyed his hair ginger. <laughs> and he couldn't get the ginger dye out of his hair for weeks afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was very good. I went as Luna Love God. You don't have to really dress up much. I had the blonde hair. I just had to get a cape. So, um, or Love Good, was it? Is it Love Good or Love, love God? Good, yeah. Love good. Luna Love Good. Luna Love Good. Oh, that's a really good idea. I like that idea of making... I, I used to make cakes and it, it was quite hard to make any money on it because people would go, well, I can buy that cake or I can buy a cake from the supermarket for £10. Mm. Why would I pay you the money to make it? And you just think, well, it's a, you know, it's a work of art. You're spending a lot of time putting these things together. Um, and yeah. I don't think people fully sort of appreciate how much work goes into it. Your daughter must obviously realise, you know... And your fam when you're making them for family, I think that's the thing. People realise how much, you know, you're putting into all this. Absolutely, things. yeah. But she's very good at it. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait, wait to see what she does. Oh. So we covered that wreath with your hessian. Uh, we want a loop of ribbon to go up at the top. So I'm just guesstimating. I'm going to use some of this ribbon. Um, so we want that to be the little loop to hang up the top. And then I've got some wider ribbon. So this is my... 10 millimeter ribbon i want to use that as a, a, wait, a little bow at the top here and um, so i'm just going to um, what am i going to do i'm going to do i'm going to stick these here i'm actually going to stick that around like that make sure i've got that ribbon nice and straight and flat we haven't got any twists in it um, use a little bit of glue here I love how strong the hot glue gun is, oh, though. Oh, it makes such a difference, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's such a good glue gun. And a little bit of glue that. And, it, and it's, it's good that it sort of dries, you know, and it's solid quite early on. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to worry about it. And then we can put um, a little bow at the top here. So I'm going to use this ribbon. got a big reel of ribbon there I do I've got lots of red ribbon and not many other colors oh okay yeah red seems to be the color that I tend to have or lots of red and um, navy ribbons we were talking about ribbon the other day about because um, I am terrible for ribbon I have drawers and drawers and drawers for oh, really ribbon. yeah I'm, te I'm, I'm a little bit of a ribbon addict whenever I go out anywhere if I see ribbon I've got to buy some <laughs> And what kind of ribbon do you go Anything, for? Anything, any pretty ribbon. I love all sorts. I've got all sorts of ribbon, honestly, all sorts of ribbon. I do love that sort. I don't know what material it is. It's almost like a crushed um, satin. 
Oh, okay. And then it's on wire. It, it's oh, yeah, I know wide. what you mean. I think that's what ribbon's that? Um, just wired, um, wired ribbon on like either wired side. Wired silk ribbon, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But it seems like silk because it's sort of like a crushed uh, material. But it's just beautiful. I love it. And organza, I just don't have enough organza. I think it's so lovely. I went to a shop that was closing down that did lots of sort of um, Eastern, you know, sort of, I suppose, or sort of Oriental kind of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. from all over. Um, lots of sort of Indian stuff, lots of Chinese things. And I bought some really beautiful sort of bejeweled ribbons. Ooh, and there's nice. about five metres on them. And like, they, were, they were like 20 pounds a roll and they reduced to like, a, no, three pounds. Oh, so oh, I bought wow. quite a few of those. So there you go. You've got your little ribbon. Um, you've got a, your little um, bow there. And you've also got your little... Um, hook to hang up your wreath That's so fabulous. we've done those bits um, the next thing we're going to be doing is making more of um, your um, little bits and pieces to go on here but to give you an idea um, you're going to be putting them together something like this you're using these little bits of ribbon um, to decorate around here but you could use um, bits of green if that's what you wanted now we'll carry on and we'll make some more of these um, and until we, until the end of the show and obviously then we're going to finish everything off um, when we do the Facebook lives so we're doing much the same as we've done before we got to make um, eight of these all together so another six we not need to make another two of these and uh, we might be able to make finish off these two of these um, for the rest of the show um, and then we need plenty of these little ribbon um, posies um, that we've seen me making those as well so we'll carry on putting them together but you can see the bones of this wreath as we're putting it together now okay right let's have a look where are my gingerbread men there you are and then those are my little bits and pieces uh, my little decorations of the gingerbread so again i'm going to be using my um, all-purpose glue as i said before if you want to stitch them together you want to just glue them together for a moment and then you're going to stitch them you want to use the textile glue or the felt glue um, do not use the all-purpose glue if you're planning on stitching through because you just won't be able to do it they'll just be too hard um, and it will break your sewing machine um, if you are going to sew them together you absolutely can do that that's what these are made for um, all I would say is make sure you've got loads and loads of light because you want to be able to see um, exactly where your needle is going because you want to have a nice edge to everything because if you see here if I put that over the top You've got a, a really nice finish um, with that little gingerbread man using that slightly darker felt. You want to make sure as you stitch, you're stitching around the edge. You can do that by hand if that's what you want to do. I was just going to gonna say that. Can yeah, you do, it by do hand? that by hand. That would be absolutely fine. Um, or if you want to use your sewing machine, you just want to make sure it's nice and even. So spend a bit of time in doing that. Okay, right. The glue. It's made me feel quite festive today, you know. Well, that's good. You want to go home and buy some Christmas presents now? Yeah. <laughs> well, or choose my own Christmas presents. <laughs> I always find I can't do Christmas presents early because no one knows what they want. You know, it's up not right until the last, and special especially with children. I mean, I'm sure everybody's had the same thing where you, you know, your, your kids say, oh, you know, I want such and such. And, you, you know, you're nice and organised, you go out and you buy it. And then Christmas Eve, they go, I really want such and such. Yeah, my daughter did it with Bratz, Bratz dolls. She said, oh, I really hope I'm going to get a Bratz doll. And that was Christmas Eve morning. Oh, no. And um, we didn't have one. She hadn't asked for it. Um, she said, oh, I just, you know, it's what I really want. I said, him, I said to myself, Father Christmas will know what I wanted. And of course, we have Father Christmas hadn't got the letter because it was a while ago. <laughs> and um, so it was all a little bit of a... An, um, no, a bit of a mess, a bit of a panic. Yeah, my daughter had all brat styles. We had hundreds of them. It was ridiculous. They was quite ugly. Brats have gone now, haven't they? I don't think you get really any brat styles anymore. Do you not? So I haven't seen. They're not like. There was a. There was a. I don't know exactly the legalities, um, but there was a war of. Bratz dolls and Barbie dolls, I think, and yeah, oh. um, something happened, yeah, and I think Bratz had to pull their dolls for a long time off the market. Oh, really? So I think there are some out there, but I don't know what the changes are to them. But yeah, my uh, daughter was Bratz dolls and Polly Pocket. Oh, yeah. Now, I tried to get, so they released a Polly Pocket um, Friends thing so it's like it looks like a coffee mug and you open it up and it's got um the fret they've got the living room um for monica's and it's got the um coffee house sofa and i really really wanted it it came out and within two days it sold out everywhere 
Wow. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a bit old for Polly Pockets, I have to say. I don't really know what I was going to do with it, but I knew I wanted it. My daughter's like that with Lego. I mean, she's 21 next week, but she's just done a Lego. Um, I don't know what it is. Someone else will know what it is, but it's, um, uh, what's the thing, the upside down world? Stranger Things. So it's a Stranger oh, okay. Things Lego, and it's all built upside down. It's like a big tree house thing. Oh, I don't wow. know exactly what it is, but she says it's from Stranger Things. And she's also got the whole set um, of the coffee shop from Friends as well. Central oh, she's Perk. got that as well. She's oh, got wow. the Lego of that, so she does all that. She's yeah, got those. Yeah, and she's an adult. So I don't think you're ever too young for toys. No, I like a bit of Lego. There you go, look, Be uh, Becky, um, Nicola said that she's just uh, spilled, uh, f uh, spent her week off building a Lego parrot. That oh. must have been hard, Nicola, because that's all one colour in blocks, isn't it? Oh, sounds amazing. Uh, do you ever watch Lego Masters? No, I don't, no. That is really interesting. I was watching, I was watching that this morning or last night, and... Um, it was, it was fascinating what they're, they're, they're creating with these things, really is fascinating. I mean, it's incredible what people can create with like, little square blocks of plastic. Um, very impressive. Yeah, I do always I think do. that with Legoland, like what they build, the, it's just amazing. I love a bit of Lego. Uh, I do until I get bored. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I haven't, I can't do it for hours and hours and hours. My son used to have kinetics. Oh, yeah. And I used to quite like that. I liked, used to build and lock in those bits into place. I, um, my son, I remember my son being really into Lego, and we bought him... He went to the prison. The police, police, police station. Police station. <laughs> and it, but it had, like, you know, sort of prison cells in it. And, um, you know, it, 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 oh, he absolutely loved it. But, you know, once you put it together, uh, then what do you do with it? And they play a little bit, but actually it's the building of it that's the bit that's really important really good fun. I've always wanted a Millennium Falcon, but they're, they're, they're like a thousand pounds, I think, aren't they? Really, really expensive. It's got a little bit of glue that's stuck there, that'll dry. Um, so we've got a little, um, another little gingerbread man, and we, I think we can do, we'll be able to do the other one as well um, before the end of the show. So we're cracking on with this, actually. So when, when we do the Facebook Lives, we're going to, we'll probably recap a little bit on the gingerbread man. Um, I'll talk it through and then we will carry on making the sprays and also the flowers as well. It's amazing what you can get done, isn't it, when you're just chatting and crafting along? Yeah. Chattering. Chattering along, Chattering. yes. And our Lisa, she's just been beavering away, getting all her pieces done. <laughs> How is Lisa getting on? Do we, can we see? Do we know? All right. Yeah, she's beavering away. We can yeah. see. Yeah, shall we quickly check in with Lisa and see how she's doing just before the end? Here she comes. There she is. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Hello. I'm good, thank you. I've just covered the wreath. Excellent. Oh, oh brilliant. Looks, looks amazing. Okay. Was it easy enough to do? I know Becky probably makes it look very easy, but was it easy? Yes, it was. It, it, I kept losing the ribbon on the fl the bad out ribbon on the floor. So oh, I had to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> having that it was okay. Excellent. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, it's looking fabulous. We'll let you carry on with that. All right. So we've got. Um, I've just marked the um, face of my um, little gingerbread person. I'm just putting a bit more glue where um, we've got those things to stick in. Just shows you just a tiny amount of glue. Yeah, you don't need much. Oh, I haven't put his rickrack on. And what are these beads? These are... Seed beads. I don't know what a seed bead is. Do seed beads have holes in them or are they just little beads? Rockales, they're called. Rockales. Rockales. They are little, little black seed beads. They are... Um, how big are you? You are... Not telling me. They're little. Um, I, I just I just had a look and saw what beads I had um, at home and thought oh well, these these work um, any kind of beads I mean they they were just from a um, I think like a, a hobby shop you know a little mini craft shop they're not expensive beads they're not um, they're not jet um, or anything expensive they're just some little little plasticky beads um, that are perfect for um, just doing those little embellishments um, just put a little bit more glue on his cheeks 
Um, I do need to put I do need to put that brick rack on them. So they, I was thinking that that one looks a little bit naked, and it's because he's not finished off. He's not got any icing on. <laughs> um, so I'll just I'll do that in just a second. A um, little bit more glue on the middle, so we can just do his little um, uh, buttons. Uh, it, it tends, this glue tends to be a little bit um, um, fibrous, I suppose. You, you've got some little threads here, but once they've dried, you can just pull them off. Um, it's absolutely fine to do that. A little bit of glue there. That. Oh. Sometimes your pokey tool is a little bit too sticky. Sorry, I've gone quiet because I'm just researching seed beads. You're researching what? Seed beads. Seed beads. Ooh. I'm just thinking because I'm a bit of a shaker girl person and I'm thinking these would be amazing. Um, well, they would, and you can get some nice sort of, um, um, what are they called? Bugle beads, which are long and you get those in different colours and they, they look like... Um, they look like hundreds and thousands. Or okay. What do they call them in America? Jimmies or like sugar Jimmies. strands? Called, do they call Jimmies? <laughs> Don't or they sugar call it? Strands? We call a Jimmy a very different thing in yeah. this country. I'm sure they were called Jimmies or sugar strands or something like that. When I used to work for Hog and Das, oh. um, they were called sugar Jimmies or multicolored Jimmies. <laughs> but we call them hundreds and thousands or oh, sugar okay. strands. Um, they um, they look really good. The kind of things you have on a fab ice lolly. Uh, yes. Which we had the pleasure of having last night. We didn't did. We? Had fab nice ice fab lollies. Ice lolly. I love a fab. And I was delighted to know that not only had I bought some fabs, but I already had some fabs in the freezer. <laughs> so it's a fabulous at the house <laughs> at the moment. Lots of fabs. I haven't had a fab for years. I, was, I think that's probably the first time I've had a fab since I was a child. Oh, I love a fab. See, I like a Solero. Yeah. Solero. The reason I have a Solero, many people don't know this, is they're very low in calories. They are. They're only 96 calories for a Solero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a good little treat because you feel like you're being naughty, but they're actually really good. Yes. Yeah, I do love a Solero. We were, we were definitely watching the calories last week, or, or, um, yesterday, Oh, absolutely, we? yeah, really watching yeah. them, yes. We had <laughs> a large Kentucky meal, KFC, plus um, a large Pepsi, plus um, uh, the Crushums. We had an uh, Aero Crushum. It was very nice, yeah. Well, I was a bit disappointed because the Milky Bar ones weren't there, and I wanted Becky to try the Milky Bar ones because they are amazing. Uh, but the Aero one was quite nice. It, it tastes was. a bit like a dessert, though. That was it. Yeah, there was a lot. There were a lot of things to chew. A lot of bits yeah. of chocolate well, to the, chew. Well, the, the milky one way ones like that, but it's just so nice because it's just. Oh, it's I just like so a bit good. of white chocolate. Mm. I have to say, it's nice. No, it was delicious. It was very it was nice. Delicious. And I'm going to make up for it by having salad today. Yep, dinner. salad with your fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having um, a chocolate fudge cake with my fish and chips. <laughs> I'm more than making up for it. <laughs> okay. Although I'm having sausage and chips. It's very nice having a bit of um, uh, a takeaway work all together. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just a little disappointed because I really fancy the scone today, but, um, you know, we're not, we haven't got them, so... Oh my goodness! I'm going to be so much trouble. I, next time, next time I'm in with you, Debbie, I, I'll have to bring you a scone. No matter what. Or we, we had a proper uh, feast up when it was a coronation. Oh, did you? Did yeah. you bring in your coronation? We had po food? proper party food. We oh, had that's sausage so cool. rolls. Um, I wasn't we even in the country. Have amazing food. Were you not? No, I think we were in Bali when the coronation was going on. I cried, didn't I, during the coronation? Uh, we were on air, but I knew it was happening, and Did I got quite emotional. Did you have coronation chicken or coronation quiche? Oh, you had quiche. Oh, we did have quiche. I don't think we had coronation chicken, though. Yeah. Mm. I do like coronation chicken. that was chicken. made for the Queen's coronation. I think, the, was it the silver it was made for, coronation chicken? I love coronation chicken. Yeah, me too. Mm. Although I have to pick the raisins out, so, or sultanas. Yeah, I me too. I like, don't like the dried fruit. Oh, so you wouldn't have liked, you won't like the um, uh, fruited scones that we've got tomorrow? Oh, no, you've got no. fruited scones. No, and plain, plain ones, I've got both. Plain scone. A plain one. 
I almost bought cheese ones as well. I oh, I love a cheese me scone. Me too. Not with cheese and jam, not with cheese and jam, not with cream and jam, though. But cheese scone is so good, especially hot out the oven. Oh, yeah, definitely. With lots of butter. Mm -hmm. oh. Like, no, ringing in butter because yes. it's all melted, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Okay, there we go. So we've got those done. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that's the time. I've just looked at the time. I thought we had half an hour and now we've got literally five minutes. So you can see if I pop my wreath there and I put my little gingerbread persons there, how it's going to look. And then we would put, we'll do some more flowers down here like that. And we're going to pop these kind of things like that. Oh, Susie's just said edge. we're making her hungry. There we go, <laughs> like that. And we just need to do, we're going to make some more flowers, um, another um, six flowers here, some more sprays, and then we'll put everything together. Um, if you decide actually it looks a bit too plain and you want to uh, jazz it up a little bit, you can always use um, some of the ribbon and go round um, again um, oh, sort of okay. here yeah, that's and idea. finish that off or maybe a little bit of green if that's what you wanted to do um, but that is a definitely an option to to run that ribbon round which might just lift it all um, maybe maybe make, do red and white and it looks a little bit like a candy cane then um, oh that's that. a brilliant so idea that's a def I love definitely that. an option um, but that is probably you know more or less all we've got time for um, That's on the amazing. show and then we'll do the rest of it um, next week. Oh, Becky, thank you so much. So if you want to be finishing that project, then craft along with Becky at home. Uh, she's going to be coming to you for the next four weeks on a Wednesday at 5pm on her Facebook page, which is Becky Swan at Crafters Companion. Uh, you will find her there and I assume you'll go out on YouTube maybe, Becky. I'm not really sure yep. what your equipment's there for, uh, but keep a lookout for that. So uh, I'm sure we'll be uh, uh, making sure we put plenty of posts uh, about that Facebook but live up but that's every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Uh, Becky thank you so thank much you. that was a lovely craft along um, and we will see you back here at uh, tonight mm -hmm. at uh, in paper crafting yeah mode. I'm gonna squeeze off my um, soft craft head and pop on my paper craft head which isn't made out of cardboard Oh, <laughs> Becky, you're and so I love weird. That because, yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to see what Becky has in store with that paper craft. It's nice to see somebody else's perspective, uh, especially someone that is predominantly a different skill, um, but then loves that paper craft inside and uh, getting her hands on the Nature's Gardens collections. Plus, we do have the most amazing deals on some of those as well. So do tune in for those uh, because they're brilliant. Uh, right now, one other person we do have to say hello and goodbye to is uh, Lisa. Lisa's from Joy us for a craft along. Uh, Lisa, you've been sitting there working away, beavering away, uh, doing the project. Yes. Have you had some fun? I have, yes, thank you. I love your penguins. On the lives. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, they look gorgeous. I've dropped one on the floor. Oh, <laughs> they <laughs> look... I have three, but one's on the floor. <laughs> yeah. And are they all made out of felt, Lisa? Yes, they oh, are. They look amazing. Absolutely love them. And how are you getting on with your flowers? Yeah, so I've got... Um, three sets of i've got red and white flowers oh beautiful. very nice oh lovely they look amazing and i got out the um packet it's the christmas rose oh that's nice. brilliant. oh thank you for showing those that's absolutely brilliant if we haven't got them on the website people can have a look for those um or use any sort of ones to cut through your funky foam how many uh, layers did you use the same as becky with the eight eight leaves uh five these ones uh, have five, five. Oh, amazing. Petals. Well, they look beautiful. Have you enjoyed yourself? That's the main thing. I have, Lisa. thank you. Yes. Oh, well, thank you I for can't joining wait for us. It to be finished. Um, so, are you going to be joining Becky on her lives? Yes, I will be. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, that'd be amazing. Excellent. And just promise us that you will send a picture in once you finish your wreath. I will do, I promise. That's amazing. Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank Becky, you. thank you for now. Hopefully, we'll thank see you. you again. Do come back. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, bye. Thank you to everyone out there. Just quickly, just check that we haven't had any other um, messages in. Um, lots of people talking about the seed beads as well. They're tiny beads with holes in, um, so uh, they're called sprinkles. Um, uh, yes, uh, uh, Susie saying I'm making her hungry. Um, Rhonda saying I had some ginger scones this morning. Oh, I've never oh. had a ginger ah, scone. Ah, so I had some ginger scones for my birthday, oh. like ginger. 
ginger, actually pieces of crystallised ginger in them as well as like gin, no powdered ginger, and they were amazing. I need to find some of them from Al because his face, he just loves ginger. Oh really? Anything. Absolutely loves ginger. Yeah. Where oh, that from? sounds I made amazing. Them. Eleanor's saying, "Oh, look at that gingerbread man. He's so cute." And thank you, ladies, for a lovely craft along. We will see you in a bit. Yes, from our Susie. Uh, absolutely. We are coming now to the end of our craft along. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and Becky has uh, and our lovely Lisa uh, but we will see you back here in two hours so still come back at 6 p.m. where we have a masterclass from our lovely Becky in all things nature's garden we will see you then bye for now <laughs>